Fruits give sweet cabbage the star treatment it deserves. This side dish is not only wonderful but also very versatile. Its aroma and flavor can easily win over anyone. And the best part? It's minimal effort with a bit of time. For a party of four, half of head of red cabbage is perfect. I'll be using a mandolin, but a knife works just as well. Be careful not to slice it too thinly though. We want to keep that satisfying crunch when we eat the cabbage. Once your cabbage is sliced, put a big pot on the stove and heat it up on the high heat. Add a tablespoon of olive oil. Lower the heat to medium and sprinkle in two teaspoons of sugar. Let the sugar dissolve. Now toss in your sliced cabbage gradually. Mix well each time. Sure, I probably should have used a bigger pot for easier mixing, but we're rolling with it. After two to three minutes, add in one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Mix it in from the bottom up. This way, all the cabbage will be mixed evenly and it will cook evenly as well. Add a pinch of salt, half a teaspoon ground cumin, 100 milliliters of water, and one teaspoon of chicken or vegetable stock powder. Instead of water in the powder, you can also use a chicken stock or vegetable stock instead. Mix it all up and let it cook on a medium-low heat for about an hour. Make sure you stir occasionally. Dice up your apple into 10 pieces and throw them into the cabbage. Opt for sweeter apple, like Rayburn for example. Mix it in and let it cook for another 30 to 45 minutes. If you notice that the pot's bottom is drying up, add a splash of water. We don't want any sticky situations or burnt bits from our cabbage. Serve this delightful cabbage with your favorite main dish and relish the flavors. If you cannot eat it all, just freeze it once it cools. It should be okay for about 4 months if you keep it in the freezer. Enjoyed the video? Give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and drop a comment down below if you got any questions. Until next time, bye bye!